know, there's a lot of plants here, all right. A lot of beautiful orchids. But mucky. All right. Oh wow, look at this. What do you find? Well, uh, it's a Dracula, it's a flower. Oh, look at that, it's a beauty. Which oh. one is this? It I up? think it's Dracula Chiroptera. These parts of flowers are very short for this one, so I am not 100% sure, but it surely looks like Dracula Chiroptera. The typical character for Dracula Chiroptera is the very round lip, also with the edges sort of uh, erect. It looked slightly different, but I still think it's the same thing, and we thought it was a new species then, but later on it proved to be Dracula Chiroptera. It in now. Saved for the future. We still don't know for sure what this is. I'm hesitant. Maybe it's a new species. Who knows? Dracula radii. Oh, look at this huge flower, Pluritalib. This is a nice one. Oh, it's plenty, hundreds of flowers. Beautiful one. You surely hit the right spot here. This thing here looks, the flower is a perfect trasitella, but the, the plant is more of Mastevalia. And uh, they are closely related anyway, so it might be a sort of a natural link between these two genera. Or, or maybe it's only the biggest trisotella in the genus so far. And I'm quite sure it's a new species. Neatly done. Fine. There's a bud here. Oh wow, that's a huge yes. specimen, isn't it? Oh, that is. It's definitely related to Mastavalia cuculata, but it has yellow flowers, green flowers. And cuculata is dark, dark purple. And it should be obvious even in the buds at this stage. So it's either a albino form of cuculata or something else. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> or something new. Something new. You yeah. never know. <laughs> this is a Dracula radiosa. It has not been collected in Ecuador so far, as far as I know. And it's typical with the orange backside of the flower. It has a close relative uh, slightly north from here called Dracula radiella, which is smaller. But this is uh, a very good example of Dracula radiosa, large flower with orange background. It's only known, it's only known from Colombia so far. It's a new record for Ecuador.
Hej, det går in gott. Det var en glatt överraskning. Att vi bara går ner och samlar ner och går ner till Spahn, vi får se och skitta den här och höja på honom lite. Vi går ner till Slug som samlar till den. Vi har hittat två drapar här nere. Oh. Oh. Det är inte det här nere. Oh. 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 Mm -hmm. Och sen då... Ja, det här, ja. Efter den har gått här, va? Mm. Den går ut ganska lång. Jag tar den i dagen mm. efter. Mm -hmm. Och sen då... What have here? Flare. Oh, it's another brand. Look at that. Oh, it's a flower. Yeah. This is a thing I've seen from uh, Garcia Moreno before. Last year we collected a few plants that look just like this one. And it has a very peculiar lip. It's sort of very cup shaped. And it's deep red within. Uh, we are arguing still what the heck it is. Uh, if it's a new species or if it's just a variety of Dracula Valicia or whatever. But in my opinion it's so distinct and it maintains this distinction. So uh, it could well be a new species. Let's leave it. Yeah. Så länge då? Så skulle jag ha mer steg. Men det är bara lite skvätta kvar här. Mm. Mm. Oh boy, it feel, feels good to sit down for a while. Yeah. It's been a rewarding day though. This is a wet paradise. We have at least 10 different, different Dracula species. Yeah, that's very nice. Mm -hmm. And we have found lots of ferns and aeroids too. And there's only about 10% of this forest left in Ecuador. Mm. The rest of, his, of it yeah. is gone forever. And when you realize that 20% that of these species are endemic here, it's such a disaster to cut this down. Yes, it, it is. It mustn't be done. How, how do we do to prevent it? <laughs> yeah, we must Educate people. Fight for this mm -hmm. forest. So oh, back on the oh. walk again. Okay, how are you doing? Yeah. Down to the river.